on a 2008 server and we've run DC promo and set up Active Directory. And remember that you know that removes all of the local security management, so you're not really creating users and groups in the local SAM or security account manager hive. But then you use Active Directory users and computers to create users and groups and manage permissions throughout the domain. And so th these are just some of the frequently used tools that you would find on a copy of 2008 server once you've installed Active Directory and it's a domain controller. So you know, Active Directory users and computers, um, and you know, of course, there are other tools that are you know typically used. Um, Active Directory sites and services, Active Directory domains and trust, users and computers, just some of the basic tools. You know, DHCP, DNS, whatever role you happen to be implementing on the server, those kinds of tools are available on 2008 server. But what if you're on a Windows 7 workstation? Now we're on a Windows 7 workstation, um, hostname Bumblebee, and this Windows 7 workstation has been joined to the Autobots domain, Autobots.transformers, Transformers is the first, um, and again, if you want to see the, you know, the fully qualified domain name or FQDN, but notice it's hostname Bumblebee, and we're in Bumblebee, Autobots, Transformers, that's our FQDN. So the thing is, if you're on Windows 7, um, what if you want to manage Active Directory? Now, you don't have those tools built into Windows 7. Like, even if I go to Administrative Tools, um, you know, th those tools are pretty much only for 2008 server products that are domain controllers, Active Directory users and computers, domains and trust, sites and services, DHCP, DNS, th those kinds of things, those management tools. So what if you want to manage, you know, maybe remotely manage a domain controller or a domain or a 2008 server from a Windows 7 workstation? Well, there's a free tool you can download, and if I go here, Let me open up my web browser, and um, but you know, if I go and just Google for it, and just Google for Windows 7 Remote uh, Administration Tools, okay, and then I downloaded it off this page. It was about 240 meg. Um, there's a 64-bit and a 32-bit, depending on the version that you're going to use. Um, and you know, I've already downloaded it and I just renamed it so I rem otherwise I wouldn't remember what I you know, can't remember my own phone number sometimes um, but uh, you know so you want to go ahead and install that tool and you know the reason is those tools aren't built in they're not there now look we, we could use remote desktop connection and RDP into the server um, that is true you know truly an option but that would use uh, an RDP connection and those are limited on the server um, as well as you know having to transmit um, the screen information, the, the graphical information back and forth across the network would generate a lot more traffic. Whereas if we install this tool, um, it's not gonna, we're not going to actually be you know, remotely viewing the 2008 server of the domain controller, but we'll be able to connect to it and use like Active Directory users and groups and domains and trust and um, you know, we'll, sites and services. We'll, we'll be able to use the tools as though we were on the 2008 server. So it's kind of a cool option. Um, that way you can be on any Windows 7 workstation and still manage your 2008 servers and domain controllers. So we've downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and install it. I mean, I guess you could use a tool like uh, VNC or LogMeIn as well, but you know, again, you'd have the same issue that it would probably eat up a lot more bandwidth transmitting all of the graphical um, information, you know, um, for remote viewing the desktop, whereas this tool um, doesn't really have that overhead. And in this particular, um, you know, installation package here, notice that it's got the, you know, service pack update. So do you want to install the following Windows software updates, update for Windows, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to say yes for SP1. And you can accept the license terms, yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to go and say I accept with the defaults. And it's going to update my Windows 7 installation service pack 1, and then I'll be able to uh, install the administration toolkit. Or the, the the remote administrator, remote administration tools. Sorry, thinking deployment toolkit, AIK, automated installation kit, remote. There's just so many Microsoft things out there with toolkit and tools and this and that. And OK, 
Okay, and installation is complete now. And notice this, um, you know, you know, kind of little CHM or, or help utility pops up, just telling you where you need to go. And in this case, they they kind of modified it instead of adding it directly as a menu entry. Doesn't really show up here like under administrative tools like it used to. Um, it, there's just a help section there, but you have to go to um, programs and features inside control panel, and then you want to you know add and remove Windows features, and you have to add it in that way now. So it's a little bit different than it used to work with like XP if if that's what you're used to. So um, it's installed, but we need to implement or you know at least the raw components are installed. So to add it to our workstation so we can use it, let's go to control panel and programs and features and notice here that we need to turn Windows features on or off so we need to select this option here okay and now that we've installed um, you know the remote administration tools it'll be available so we can select it as an option here see that that wouldn't have been there before but now we can choose that as an option and then I just want to click the little node over here and open this node on the left and go down and pick the things that I want to install and certainly group policy management tools and um And notice now I have you know users and computers, sites and services, demands and trusts, the typical Active Directory management tools. So why don't we try users and computers here? And remember we're on our Windows 7 workstation, but let's see if we can't manage our Autobots domain. So let's open up Active Directory users and computers now with the remote administration tools and see if our Windows 7 workstation uh, you know, domain host Bumblebee can manage our 2008 server Optimus Prime and Active Directory domain controller. All right. So in this case, again, I'm on Bumblebee, but notice that I'm connecting to, um, you know, with Active Directory users and computers uh, Optimus Prime. Okay. And here are my users, and there's Bumblebee and Ironhide and. So that's kind of cool, and also if I right-click over here, notice you know I could select an alternate domain. I could change the domain if I wanted to. Um, I could change the domain controller, and you can see right now I'm connected to Optimus Prime Autobots Transformers, even though I'm Bumblebee. So that's kind of a cool tool, right? Um, it just you know that, that way it lets you use any Windows 7 workstation to also utilize uh, and manage your Active Directory domains on 2008 server and you know pretty much anything I could do on the server I can do now so, you know DHCP DNS whatever I wanted to add certificate services right and remote access all kinds of things I could be using computers so.